Welcome to section 27 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing arena virus, including lymphocytic choreomeningitis virus and loss of fever encephalitis. You can see these viruses right here. To help you remember that this image is about arena viruses, we'll show everything taking place inside of a baseball arena. Baseball arena, arena virus. If you look in the sky, you can see that we've included some pink colors. Just like in our other videos, this color schematic is to help you remember that arena viruses are RNA viruses. Within the baseball arena, we've shown two prominent circular mounds, one for the pitcher and one for the person who's up to bat. The two circular mounds should help you remember that there are two RNA segments to the virus and that it has a circular structure. This next idea is a little strange and unique to arena viruses, but they are both positive sense and negative sense. To help you remember this, we've shown a rainbow and a rain cloud. Remember, a rainbow is associated with positive vibes, hence the positive sense, and a rainbow cloud is kind of gloomy and associated with negative vibes, hence the negative sense. Therefore, the combination of the rainbow and the rain cloud should help you remember that arena viruses are both positive sense and negative sense. If you look towards the right side of the image, you can see that now we've added a helical shaped staircase for people to access the field. This shape should help you remember that arena viruses have a helical capsid. Our next character in the scene is this limping umpire. Notice that he was just hitting the knee with a baseball. I guess that's the risk you take when you're an umpire, right? Anyways, limping umpire sounds like lymphocytic, and the fact that he has a very unique helmet should make you think of the brain or meninges. So putting this all together, we get lymphocytic choreomeningitis virus or LCMV. This is one of the two arena viruses you need to be familiar with for step one. In some of our other microbiology videos, we've used water on top of the head to represent encephalitis and hats to represent meningitis. So the water on top of the umpire's helmet should help you remember that LCMV causes meningoencephalitis. The other arena virus that you need to be familiar with for step one is loss of fever encephalitis. To help you remember this, we've shown a Lassie dog coming out of the dugout because Lassie sounds kind of like Lassa. Again, the rain on top of the dog's head should make you think of encephalitis. So Lassie dog's head getting rained on for Lassa fever encephalitis. The Lassie dog came out of the dugout in the first place to chase these rodents. The rodents are here to help you remember that Lassa fever encephalitis spreads by rodents. Finally, we've shown a guy inside of the dugout who's wearing a traditional Ghanaian outfit. Let's zoom up on this so you can see it better. Ghana is a country in West Africa, so this Ghanaian looking person is here to help you remember that loss of fever encephalitis is prevalent in West Africa. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 24-year-old female is brought to the emergency department due to altered mental status over the past 24 hours. Her boyfriend accompanies her and states that many of their recent conversations have been nonsensical. Her temperature is 38.6 degrees Celsius. PCR analysis of the CSF reveals a virus with a linear double-stranded DNA structure. Based on these findings, what is the most likely diagnosis? Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has mental status changes and a fever of 38.6. These two symptoms are concerning for encephalitis or meningitis. However, all of the answer choices can cause these symptoms, so we must rely on the PCR analysis, which revealed a virus with a linear double-stranded DNA structure. This is the most important part of the question stem and leaves us with only one correct answer, which is C, herpes simplex virus 1. You may have thought that A or B were the correct answers because this lecture is about arena viruses. However, you should have known that arena viruses are RNA viruses, not DNA viruses, like the question stem states right here. They're also circular and have two segments, so A and B are wrong. As a general rule of thumb, you should also be wary of choosing these as possible answer choices because they're much less common than HSV, so they're probably less likely to show up on step one. JC virus is also wrong because it has a circular double-stranded DNA structure. From the image, remember that the pink background right here is used to represent that arena viruses are RNA viruses. Also, the two circular mounds right here are here to help you remember that there are two RNA segments to arena viruses and that they have a circular structure. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about arena viruses.